सो हे गाइज वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल फॉर ट्यूटोरियल्स सो गाइज टूडे आई टीच यू हाउ टू क्रिएट न्यू एंड कूल सी जी आई एंड वी एफ एक्स एडवर्टाइजिंग एनिमेशन विद यूजिंग ब्लैंडर गाइज आई एम नॉट यूजिंग एनी थर्ड पार्टी एड ऑन एंड सॉफ्टवेयर फॉर ट्रैकिंग न्यू प्रोजेक्ट चेक एंड सेलेक्ट ऑल एंड प्रेस डिलीट की सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल गाइज गो टू ऑन हेयर एंड वी एफ एक्स एंड मोशन ट्रैकिंग चेक सो गाइज ज्वाइंट एरिया चेक एंड गाइज न्याओ क्लिक ऑन हेयर ओपन so guys import your clip guys you can download this clip link in description so now guys go to on render setting and device gpu check frame like a 256 max that's my max am so film and transparent check so go to on color management and viewport level i like standard yes right okay so now guys i change frame rate so go to on here frame rate i like 29.97 and guys i show you my frame rate see guys that's my 29.97 fps so next one go to on here set screen frame check and next one go to on here prefetch check yeah so guys now i create tracker points so guys detect feature check and guys i decrease this threshold like a 0.1 and guys distance 80 yeah and again set screen frame check so guys now i create tracking so guys click on here track map this one see guys that's my simple tracking and now guys again click on here track map backward check see guys that's my back tracking right okay so guys my tracking is finished and now guys go to on here solve so guys refine so all check and go to on here clean up so guys firstly i create smooth tracker this one it's not correct so firstly guys click on here filter track check and guys track threshold 5 is good and press delete key and delete this extra points right and again go to on here solve camera motion check yeah good and see guys that's my solve error is 0.12 pixels is best for me guys if you are not working solve error is not decrease so guys clean on here clean track and after delete some points so guys this time in my case solve error is 0.12 pixels good and next one go to on here set as a background check and set up track scene check see guys that's my tracking scene and guys next one so go to on here flow guys i take flow so guys select only three points like this any three points corner to corner see guys that i select three points and guys select flow yeah okay so guys now i change flow size so guys this time i change the scale size so guys select only two points like this and go to on here scale size and distance i like 5 and set scaling check yes see guys that's my scaling okay so guys now click on only one points middle so guys set origin check yes see guys that's my tracker and go to on here guys my tracking is complete so layout check and press zero yeah see guys that's my simple tracking and guys play yeah tracking is really good okay so guys stop and delete your cube i don't like this cube so guys scale size increase so press s letter and scale size increase like this and guys distance change like this yes okay so guys now select your camera and guys opacity 100% check yes and guys next one you can apply some objects so guys also delete your light this one i don't need this light and go to on here guys this time i'm using blender kit add on so don't worry guys free add on so type like a makeup enter and guys see that's my different different objects so guys select your this one you can use this time here and increase scale size scale size increase yeah and press zero so set your camera angle yes and go to on back and guys click on here set your objects and rotate rotate randomly like this and guys now 
you can apply more objects so guys i like this time different different objects this one is also good so i like this one and guys i change scale size so guys select this one and increase scale size more like this right and right little bit more and rotate your object rotate like this right okay so guys now i like more so guys i like this one guys don't worry all assets is free so guys go to on here and increase scale size like this and guys set your objects and little bit back so guys don't overlap most important part don't overlap all objects so guys go to on here and press zero yes right see guys that's my composition right it's looking really beautiful and guys you can apply more objects depending on your work so guys like this and increase scale size increase and go to on here and rotate so guys rotate like this yeah right see guys that's my composition and guys now this time second one i apply text tool so guys for text tool so click on here and add so guys text and increase scale size increase and change guys rotation rotation like this like a 90 and this one z1 location rotation minus 90 and press 0 and guys go to on back right okay so guys press 0 and goes go to on up scale size smaller and now guys this time go to on here and go to on horizontal use center so guys i change text so press edit mode edit mode check and guys type your any letter like a sale enter and 30 percent off and go to on object mode go to on up yes okay so guys now i change this line spacing and also font change guys font i like this time different style of font like this and guys go to on here geometry and extrude like a 0.1 enter okay so guys it's too much 0. 0. 0.05 yeah good this one is good and font is also good right okay so now guys next one change scale size this one this one scaling so guys line space change like this yeah good press zero and guys set your object like this smaller yeah and guys this one that's a flow go to on here and little bit increase scale size because i will apply shadow okay so guys all is good press zero and guys next one i create this time position animation so guys go to an up this one like a five and guys go to an up and guys z1 check so go to on like a 50 frame and position go to an up like a six and check so go to like a hundred like a five check 150 right 300 frames is good for me and guys and i like 300 okay so guys now go to back and play yeah see guys that's my simple animation right and guys next one i apply material so guys select your text and go to on here guys i apply red color one and one and guys i like one situation situation like a one is good i like one and guys metallic little bit of roughness 0 0.6 yes right okay so guys now i apply only one frame render render and render image check guys after lighting my render will be perfect yeah composition is good so guys close and guys apply light texture hdri image guys is dependent on your work so i like different style of lighting 
texture i like this one that's fit for my background so import and guys strength 0.8 actually little bit 0.7 because i will apply sunlight also so add and use sunlight so go to on here and guys press 0 and click on here see guys that's my shadow so guys rotate your sunlight so rotate like this because my shadow on this side yes so guys select your sunlight and guys strength are like 1.5 angle like 20 press 0 and again go to on render and render image check yeah great right see guys that's my beautiful texture composition and guys next one guys you can change this time shadow position right i change shadow position so guys close so shading here press zero and go to on here world object check so guys see that's my sdr texture so guys press ctrl t and click on here yeah and guys i change this time rotation this one like a 30 and again I show you on render here render and render image check yeah great okay see guys that's a beautiful shadow right it's looking really realistic right and guys close so guys my work is finished and lastly use this one frame rate and output guys create new folder and take any file name I create JPEG render sequences is so guys go to on here render and render animation check that's it guys okay so guys that's it my final work is finished so guys if you like my video please share and please subscribe my youtube channel thank you